Hey guys, we're back for part 3. I know it's been a few days, and some of you have actually been waiting for it, and here it is. Finally! Yay! Oh! I, I, I'm sorry for the delay, but I've been engrossed in Dark Souls 3. It's amazing. I'm currently level 103. Don't judge. I like to grind souls. See that guy over there? Look at him. Wave at him. Hello! Do you see us? No? We? Oui? No? If I'm not mistaken, this one was a little bit of a pussy. So we decided to have fun with him. <laughs> you'll, you'll actually see it. He's not daring to come up the stairs. He's not even daring to try at the moment. I do believe he eventually does. There's Alan trying to intimidate him by, I don't know, killing a fly. Well, oh, there he is. See him? Look at him! Isn't he so adorable? I think he's got crabs though, you can see him in the background. You wouldn't want to touch that with a 10 foot barge pole. But yeah, it might be a little bit long winded. And this guy did end up. I don't know, nobody insulting us? Most people that invade, they think we're actually stupid enough to fall for the little tricks they do at the end when they get desperate enough. Sadly, we can outsmart them and get some pretty funny results for it, as you've priorly seen in the end of the last video. <laughs> watch this, watch this. He's going to grow a pair of balls in a minute. I think he borrows some off the crabs. <laughs> hey, hey, see? He's like, I will fight you. <laughs> Very cute. Completely missed. And falls off. <laughs> oh, look at it run. Run, little boy, run! See, see, he gets partial balls and then he runs, then he gets partial balls. But what he does, it was just... Really? Did he honestly think we were going to fall for it? Oh, see that little tunnel down there? Uh, if you've played Dark Souls 3, then you'll know there's a crucifix guy hiding down there. He's thinking, well, they're going to come down here and get ambushed by enemies. No. I don't have mug written across my head despite what many we people think. <laughs> you see, we start to actually get bored. It's like, is he ever going to come out of there? Does he want a few magazines and a tissue? Yes, me and Alan were talking at a party during this, like, what the fuck is he actually doing in there? So I decided to go and invest. Look at that. He's just sitting down there. Like, yay! Oh, it's so cute when they're scared though, isn't it? I mean, seriously, how scared do you have to be to just hide in a room like that? And also, how stupid, if you're about to see. <laughs> but in Dark Souls, make sure you go near the giant tree because you're about to watch some fun. He thought he was being smart. <laughs> Take a back seat and watch him get killed. Free one for us. <laughs> oh, you've got to love using the environment to your advantage. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why I'm a white phantom. I'm not actually a summon. I was wearing the untrue white ring, which makes you appear as a phantom. I like doing this to confuse people so they don't actually know where the host is. I've had a few people searching around the entire fucking area trying to find the host and it's like, I'm standing right here. You, you invaded the world of Kyrie and Jutsu, there's a phantom named Kyrie. Piece them together. It's not that hard. But yeah, as you can see, my friend Richard that I actually met, um, he's having a few connection problems. Part of the Watchdogs of Farron Covenant, I ended up invading his world, killed him, sent him a message, and we ended up becoming friends. It's like, who, who knew Dark Souls could bring people together? Yes, I was taking the piss wearing a dress. 
Uh, you wanna what? When you're running around Dark Souls, why can't you feel fabulous sometimes? Huh? Tell me why I can't look fabulous. And seriously, look at that puffy dress and the big ass ribbon and. Uh, looks like somebody threw a kunai through my head. I'm sorry, but I felt pretty. You get the chance, run around in it. You, you, you feel empowered. Or, you know, slightly weird. Just depends on how you flow. But how, how this guy died. Oh, we did not get the satisfaction of killing him. Nor did the enemies. Th this one, you know when somebody knows they went and lost. When they pull a stunt like this. Also, I apologize for the delays in the audio or the mess up in the audio. I think it was the connection when recording, but the audio seems to be a little bit messed up. Where's this? Where the fuck did he go? Kill them all. Die. Die. Just wait for it. Listen for it. Scream. Dead. <laughs> so you know somebody is lost so badly they will commit suicide so you don't get the satisfaction of their kill, but you do get the satisfaction of recording them committing suicide. Yes. We, ha we had a pretty princess moment. Don't judge. Alan was judging, but... As I said, so beautiful. Embrace it. Because you're worth it. I was fucking around in a dress for too long. <laughs> oh, beautiful double invader kill. I think that was Alan that scored that one. Well, a combination of Alan and Richard. Then we come to another situation. Me, Alan, Richard. It it's the trio. The trio of badasses. If you've seen the picture on Twitter, we like to confuse the fuck out people. But yeah, sadly, um, as you'll see, Alan just lost his battle. And as you notice, Richard is, is not moving any arms and legs. It looks like a statue on a freaking skateboard. But, um, when I was talking to Richard in the party, he couldn't actually see the invader. He had no idea where the invader was. Which kind of worked partially to an advantage, because he kept on seeing him as an easy kill. Which, you know, it distracted him from me. At the same time, touche to the guy. We were searching for him for about an hour. He invaded an hour beforehand, that's why it's so short on the clip. But it turns out he was um, disguised, waiting up here for us. I will give him props, I, I, I will give him applause, because that takes some determination and some fucking patience because we were fucking around. Something terrible down there. We just thought he would end up returned to his old world. Well, you know, his own world. No, he, he hung out. He waited. Like a true hunter. But sadly, he fails. Isn't he sort of majestic, you know? Just roll, disappear. Oh. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, I still find it funny. When you watch Richard attack him, you see the blood splatter, you hear it, you just see absolutely no movement. So we've made the joke that when that's happening, you're embracing the power of the Force. The only choice is, what side of the Force will you be? Convenient and that in the distance it, his sword looks like a fucking lightsaber. Can you guess? He's a Sith Lord. Kinda looks as bitchy as Kylo Ren, though. I mean, seriously, the hissy fits? I know, it's lasted a bit. And all you can see is him sliding around. It's the new Sunbro action figure. Fuck it. <laughs> and this is where he tragically fell. Yeah. Eventually Richard was able to cotton on to the glow from his ring and was able to hunt him down that way. 
For some reason, the lag was making it that the invader was completely invisible to him, apart from the glow from the ring. Then we have this beautiful little thing. They fought well. They fought hard. Sadly, though, they did not succeed. I just wonder why people wear those rings. Like, I, I, I understand it. With the milk ring, when you roll, you become partially invisible, but... Your defense is dropped. And you're still gonna get your ass kicked. Despite the fact you look like, you know... Like, now you see me? Now you don't. I actually do. My lock on still works. And Alan scored the win for that one. Yeah, he was messing around at the stairs and got smacked by a freaking... The skeleton ball that goes up and down. He got hit by that. He got that scared. He hit at the top of the stairs and threw down fucking firebombs. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we have another... Another fun one. I just kind of want to high five that ball as it goes past. Wait for it. <laughs> the video gets clipped by as he tries to come up. One thing I'll say when you're being invaded or your friends being invaded and you're a phantom, patience is a virtue. Make them come to you, don't go to them. Nine times out of ten, they'll know the area and they'll be trying to lure you into a trap or where they feel more comfortable. So make them come to where you feel more, you know, more comfortable. You know the layout. But this guy, uh, he has a quite tragic death. You know. Give him props for his fight. You will salute you, but you're still getting fucked. And he is. Now he's hiding around the corner. Oh. of you have been delving into the PvP world of, of Dark Souls? Which one of you are invaders? And which one of you just want to continue with the game but people just love to invade you? I, I don't understand this. My friends, they barely get invaded. For some reason if I join them, they get invaded. Or if they're in my world, I get invaded. Left, right and center. It's like I have a target on my back. I, I don't mind it too much but I, I just don't understand why the frequency of invasions is higher for me. I don't invade people. I did with the Watch Dog Covenant, but you know, you had no choice in that. You get fucking yanked at what you were doing. You've been taking a shit in the toilet and then all of a sudden you'd appear as a blue phantom. Your fucking trousers around your ankles going, Hey, can you give me one minute? Oh. It is time for his tragic tonight. Guess how he dies. Let me know in the comments if you got it right. Oh. It's beautiful little death like that to make it worthwhile. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Well, so the, po the point to Alan then come straight for attacking me. I is it because I'm gold? Do you have a thing against Thumbros? Yeah, if you're noticing that, I'm changing through the covenants. Just to give it a change, I was sick and tired of the watchdog. Well, you know, the watchdogs are firing because. I kind of wanted to do the game without getting yanked out of my world. Plus, some bros. Dude, praise the sun. Light Solar would be proud. Love how he keeps failing with that. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up just... 1v1. Occasionally, Alan came in for joining, but... I don't know what I did. 
Did I say something wrong when he entered the game? I don't know, but this guy seemed determined to kill me. Actually, in the clip after this, you'll notice the next guy, determined to kill me. Again, is it because I'm a sunbro? Does that, is it alluring? Is it like, ooh, she's shiny. Can I touch you? <laughs> Again, fail. And yes, I'm still using the chicken because it's my baby. Yay! Oh, see, this, uh, this. You get some invaders that will just try and catch you with your fucking pants down. And th this next one was one of those ones. Try to kill the pontiff, you know. Going about my own business. Licking some ass. And you can see them right in the background. And who are they aiming at? Calling racism on some bros. We get discriminated against because we're freaking yellow. Or maybe it's because we think the sun shines at our arse, but you know, we're warriors of sunlight. We pee gold. We fart sparkles. I'm kidding, we don't actually. Happen once. But yeah, when. when, when <laughs> oh. The, the, this poor person went and had one of those moments of you know when you fucked up. Just, just. Ah, oh, tragic death. Nice dress, but tragic death. Anyway, that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye!